Hey guys, back with another YouTube video. Today it's going to be a showing off video and I'm also going to re-show some of the stuff I unboxed in the previous video because I realized the lighting was very bad and since the rain has calmed down enough to where I can do the videos, do this video real quick, I'm going to re-show some of the stuff that I got from Chad and my buddy Mike and then I'm going to show off some other things like some things that my dad got me and a few updates and some knives that I got from a friend of mine and some knives I got from a pawn shop. So first thing I'll show off is the Buck 119 that I got from my friend Chad that we were doing a trade on. This is dated 1990 with the X mark. Sheath is in great shape. It needs to be reconditioned and the knife itself is in beautiful shape. It's going to need to be repolished. But it's going to look great in my collection. And vote down below if you want me to do a comparison video between the modern 119 and the older versions. Because I've got four of them now, each one from a, from a different year. So let me know if you want me to do a comparison video. Next is on some other items Chad gave me, such as these magnetic screwdrivers. These are actually really handy. I do plan to use these. And I use these for when I'm taking apart small pocket knives. And then he also sent me this old screwdriver. Sadly, there's no name on it, but the handle's in really good shape. It should clean up really well. And I'll definitely put this one to good use once it's all cleaned up. And then, of course, I love the box that he sent this stuff in. Don't really know what this is for, but heck, it's pretty cool. Ugh. All right, next is on the stuff my buddy Mike sent me that he gave to me. Thank you very much, Mike. First is on the little bundle of knives that he sent me. First is this blade that he sent me. I'll definitely rework that and make a nice little fixed blade out of it. Next is on the Spyderco knife. This is one of the pocket knives he gave me. And I, the, what was this again? Oh yeah, this is the this is the Spyderco VG10, made in Japan. Now originally it had a serrated blade, but the serrations were long since not usable. So I took my belt sander and took the serrations off and gave it a new profile. And now it looks great. It's, it'll look great with my other Spyderco. So thank you very much, Mike. Next, this is an Imperial Camp Knife. This will definitely clean up really well. Again, thank you very much, Mike. Next, this is a Colonial Pocket Knife. This one's actually in really good shape. This one I think I'll probably just sell off. So I've got plenty of knives like this. And just to be clear, this Spyderco, I'm definitely keeping that. And I'm definitely keeping this Imperial Camp Knife. Next is this Master Barlow, made by Ulster. This one I'm definitely going to clean up and keep because I don't have an Ulster Barlow in my collection. I'll replace the handles with something else, but it'll definitely clean up really well. Next is this Imperial Ireland Barlow style, is what I'm calling this because it's so small it looks just like a Barlow. This one I'm also going to keep as well because I really like this design and it'll look great in my collection. Next is an Explorer Japan knife. These are really common. This one I'll just fix up and turn around and sell. Next, this one is an old Cutmaster but the blade's busted so I'll just strip this down for parts. Next is a... Come on, open the blade. A WHN Sons Germany knife with these beautiful orange handles. That will definitely clean up, and I'll do some research on that. Next is a another German knife. I'll clean this up and do some research on it before I do anything to it. Last but not least is a Pakistan Barlow. I get these in pretty all the time. I think what I'll do is I'll take these blades out since they're no good. Because it's Pakistan steel. That stuff's normally not any good. I'll take the blades out and replace them with actual Barlow blades. 
So thank you very much, Mike. I loved all this stuff. And another thing I'll show off is the material he gave me, because he knows I'm a knife maker, so he gave me a bunch of materials to make some knives with. First is a nice, solid piece of white oak. That will definitely get some use. Next is a piece of aluminum. That will definitely get used. This will save me time from having to go to Lowe's. Next is an old piece of old walnut. I think I'll probably turn this into a sand, a sand, a sanding stone. So basically I'll just wrap a piece of sandpaper and it's easier for me to sand knives with it by hand. Next is my favorite part. He gave me these giant sections of sawmill blades. I mean, those who are unfamiliar, a sawmill blade runs just like this where it goes up and down and that's what cuts the trees in half. And I brought a tape measure just to see how, just to show you how big this stuff is. Seven inches wide. And about ten inches tall on that piece. That's, that's going to make some very good knives. Next is the even bigger piece that he sent me. This one is 16 inches tall, 7 inches wide. That will definitely make some good knives. Thank you very much, Mike. That's awesome. All right, that's all the stuff I received from my friend Chad and Mike. Thank you, guys. And hopefully in this video, you can see these knives a lot better. And here's some other knives. This one is a buck... 470 discontinued that I found at a pawn shop for $40. Heck of a good score, and I didn't even know what this was, but I looked it up, and this one's actually been discontinued for over 20 years, and it's in near brand new shape. That's a heck of a good find. That'll look great in my buck knife collection. Next is this buck 425 that I put a bale on. My father bought this for me. Thank you very much. He bought himself one too. And I put this bale on it so that way I can never lose it. Uh, next is a little update. This is on the Imperial Camp, Imperial Boy Scout knife that I kept. I repolished it, got all the rust off, and put a new edge back on it and oiled it up. Now it looks brand new. This one I shown in a I show I showed in a flea market video. Next, this is another knife my dad gave me. This is an Imperial No Name. It just says Imperial MP, M, IMP35. Nice little pocket knife. I'll definitely keep this around and use it on my workbench. Next is a couple of knives I got from one of my friends. I think it's, I think my buddy's name was James. It's been a while since I've done this deal. He traded me this knife. And this knife, and another cheap knife, but that one I just threw in with my junk knives. And these two are definitely my favorites. This is an old-timer gut hook. This particular one I'm going to be selling, so anybody who wants this can happily buy it. This particular one I'm keeping, because when I originally got it, the blade was busted to right here. And my a friend of mine on Facebook sent me a link to a video, to a ad on eBay of somebody who was selling this exact same blade. So I bought the blade, I took the old pin out, replaced it, and re put a new blade in it. And now it looks better than ever, and I put an edge on it. This particular one I'm going to be keeping and putting in my collection because I don't have one of these. And these are really hard to come by. Okay, next is a few updates. As y'all may remember, I did a part one in another video of making a two knives out of that katana. Sadly, there won't be a part two because I've already finished them up. This is the Bowie knife I was working on. I put the stag handle, put the brass guard, put a sharp edge on it. I love that thick blade. This goes to show what you can get out of an old katana blade. And the reason why there won't be a part two is because when I put these handles on, they're normally about 80% finished because it's a natural curve. And all you have to do is just gently hand sand it to get it smooth to your hand. So this one will be put for sale to anybody who wants it. And then to the other one I made was basically a short katana. Same one, I reused the wood handle from the original katana and I just shortened it a little bit. And reused the ricasso and I reused a brass piece and just simply made a short sword is what I'm going to call this. This one I will be putting for sale to anybody who wants it. Came out very well and has a very thick blade. 
And then of course here's the final knife I made out of my buddy's stag originally. So that's two knives I've made out of the stag that he's given me. knives I've got to show and some other stuff. Thank you, Chad, and thank you, my buddy, for giving me the stag, and thank you, Mike, for giving me all that free stuff. And don't know what to say. I'd really appreciate all of y'all. And I guess I'll end the video right here. And as always, stay sharp.